Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello. Welcome to Monster. This is the show where I, a monster, tell you how not to be like me. Today's show is about friendship. I had a best friend once. Until they decided they didn't want to be my friend anymore. See, the thing about friendship is that you can really easily lose it. My best friend, they told me they thought I was just too weird. And they didn't want to be my friend. And that's perfectly fine. Not everyone has to like you. It would be nice, but it's not required. I mean, I don't even really like me all that much. But the thing is, you can always be your own best friend. And just because that's how they saw me, that doesn't mean that's how I see myself. Yeah. The other thing is, something you have to keep in mind for every facet of life, not just friendship, is that the world is an empty, cold, barren place. But if you can be your own best friend, you're not really ever alone. See, I've got him. I'm not really alone. But it can be hard to be your own best friend, especially if there are a lot of things you don't like about yourself. There's a a lot of things I don't like about myself. That's why it's good to have him around. Because he can't judge me. He's a toy. I mean, look at what's out here. Absolutely fucking nothing! There's nothing here. Look at all the nothing. Am I supposed to find comfort in this? Am I supposed to find something that I like about me and about this when I'm the only one here? All I have is time. Time to think about all the things I hate about myself. But, I also have all the time to try and think of things I like about myself. Things that are nice about all this emptiness. All this emptiness that is rather metaphorical because I feel pretty empty myself. I mean, inside, as I'm sure a lot of you probably do. It's good to take stock of that sometimes and, and try and fill yourself up with things that maybe aren't so bad. Maybe something that someone once said to you that you originally perceived to be negative, you can turn around to make it into something good. It's the only option I've got. Hey there, it's your old pal Raffles, here for another story. This story is about today's topic, friendship. Friendships come in all shapes and sizes. That's what this today's story is about. It's about a bird and a snake. An unlikely duo, certainly. So one day, Bird, flying around looking for friends, being the friendless loser that he is, saw a snake slithering in the grass. And he thought to himself, wow, what a cool animal. Maybe I could be his best friend. So, Bird landed right in front of Snake, which is a, a pretty gutsy move. And, uh, I mean, considering anxiety and everything. And Snake looked down at him, and Bird looked up at him. And Bird asked, Snake, would you be my friend? And for a moment, Neither one spoke. And then Snake fucking ate Bird. Because that's nature. The point of the story is that sometimes you're not meant to be friends with certain people. It just doesn't work out, man. That's today's story with Raffles. See you next time. I'm telling you all these things that are, let's be honest, fairly personal because I want to be your friend and to do that we have to be able to connect I hope you don't feel the way I feel but if you do at least now you know you aren't the only one who feels it that's it for this week's show I'll see you next week until then continue being monsters